The next Pure Sciences Institute in this video is NDRI. Have you heard of NDRI? What do you study there? The National Dairy Research Institute, NDRI, was the first institution to be developed in the country as a center for dairy training and research. This center offers training and research in several aspects of dairy production and processing. Coming to the courses available, dairy technology courses are available for three years as diploma programs and for four years as bachelor's degree programs. There is also a master's degree in dairy technology. Also, the institute offers doctoral programs. Looking at the eligibility, 10th grade with a minimum 50% marks are eligible for the diploma courses. 12th PCM or PCB cluster with English as a language and a minimum of 50% marks are eligible for BTEC programs. Regarding the entrance test, every year All India Entrance Examination for Admission, AIEEA, is held to select applicants for graduate, masters and the doctorate programs. This exam comprises of 50 or 60 MCQ type questions in physics, chemistry, mass, or biology. Time limit is about two hours. The path for diploma course is a merit list based on institute level exam followed by counseling. There are two NDRI institutes, one in Karna, Haryana state, another one in Bangalore, Karnataka state. Looking at career options, career prospects are a plenty as listed in the three cells of the second room. You can research and develop a wide range of food related products, making sure that they are safe and palatable. If you want to make the food safe and palatable for consumption by developing new ingredients, processing methodologies, and packaging systems, then you should go for academics in NDRI, the National Dairy Research Institute. Now, let us look at a couple of mathematics related institutions. Have you heard of ISI, the Indian Statistical Institute? ISI is a research and training institute for statistics and allied sciences with 10 centers in India. The centers are located at Kolkata, Delhi, Bangalore, Chennai, Tejpur, and some more cities. Looking at the courses offered and admission process, ISI provides a BS, that is Bachelor's in Science in Math and Statistics, as well as MS in Computers, Math, Statistics, Economics, and Quality Management. Students in their 12th grade of science or commerce who have studied math and English are eligible to apply. However, this institute conducts its own entrance exam on mathematics. Patterns comes with both MCQs and short answer questions. High scorers in math Olympiad are exempt from these exams. The institute provides practically free education as well as a stipend. The next one in this list is CMI. Have you heard of CMI, the Chennai Mathematical Institute? CMI offers research and training programs in mathematics, data science, computer science, and physics. CMI offers three-year BSc degree programs in math plus physics and math plus computers. It is a combination of math with physics and math with computers. Students from the 12th science or commerce cluster who have taken mathematics as one of their subjects are eligible to apply. This too has its own math aptitude test for screening and selection. High scorers in the national Olympiads in maths, physics, and informatics are exempt from the entrance exam. Coming to the scholarships, CMI offers scholarship for 35 students tuition fee waiver plus a stipend, almost free education for those 35 students. What about careers? There are numerous career options available, including those as a researcher, economist, statistician, 
इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंकर फाइनेंशियल डायरेक्टर अकाउंट ऑफिसर फाइनेंशियल एनालिस्ट मार्केट रिसर्चर डेटा एनालिस्ट एंड मेनी अदर्स दैट वॉज अबाउट आई एस आई एंड सी एम आई the premier statistics and mathematics institutes in india a geneticist is a biologist who studies the inheritance of traits in living organisms geneticists extract dna and perform tests that interpret the laboratory results they apply their knowledge of statistics and math to evaluate genetic data and keep detailed records to record their results some geneticists study genetic disorders carried from parents to children and research potential cures and treatments they may also teach medical students and graduate students and may need to write grant proposals to seek research funds audiology is the study of sound and hearing and looking at acoustics as well as the reception of sound so we're able to identify pathology in the hearing system and also able to predict what an individual with a hearing impairment might need for rehabilitation. Generally, it's someone working in the field of developing new technology to use in biological sciences to try and improve different processes, uh, whether that's in industry or in healthcare. For example, they can be trying to develop new antibiotics, new vaccines, different drugs. So there's lots of opportunities in the field of biotechnology, depending on what you're interested in. Depending on the fields you work in, biotechnologists can have a, a range of different duties. Some of my duties include keeping our cells growing and intact, uh, storing them properly, cataloging all of our samples, designing experiments for our various projects. Well, we have reached the end of this video. In this video, we have looked at pure science courses available at IITs, NITs, CPET, AISH, NDRI, ISI, and CMI as well as career opportunities available in pure sciences domain. Please refer to part one of this video for pure science courses available at IISC, IISCRs, IIST, and NICER. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions, please contact me through the email address listed in this slide.